whoever did this leak should be prosecuted and should go to jail for a very long time. I don't know who did it. I hope we find out because the person or persons who did it really struck a blow against the rule of law. I spent decades trying to remake the court, overturn Roe. You're possibly single-handedly responsible for the 6-3 majority. So do you take personal credit for abortion rights likely to go away for millions of people in this country? Yeah, I think the story today is an effort by someone on the inside to discredit the institution of the Senate. Democrats say that the prospect of Roe being overturned and some of the more restrictive trigger laws coming into effect without exemptions for rape and incest will shock the public and motivate voters in November. What is your response to that? How does this change the midterms? Well, that's not the story for today. The story for the day is what I just said. If Roe is struck down, do you see a need for federal abortion restriction legislation in, in Congress? <laughs> Look. All of this puts the cart before the horse. Um, we have three Supreme Court clerks in my conference. They all explain the procedure. And our entire conversation today was about what I've just been talking to you about. And you need, it seems to me, excuse the lecture, uh, to concentrate on what the news is today. Not a leaked draft, but the fact that the draft was leaked. So I'm sorry, I, the, the old white guys, Mitch, is going to tell us what the story of the day is? He's going to tell us what the story of the day is. That's rich, Mitch. You're going to tell us about the rights, the 50 years of rights, the, 50, the decades of precedent that has just been spit on and thrown away in this draft opinion. Might be tweaked a little bit, but the bottom line is this is setting women back in so many different ways with so many different consequences. And you're going to tell us that the story is the leak. Really? The leak is fascinating. It's historic. It's never happened before. And whoever did it, it's interesting because I think we're going to find out who did it. I think some people already know who did it. And I think a lot of people are already alluding to who did it. And it's not who you think, Mitch. But even if it is, that's not the story we care about. OK, the story that women across America and the men who love them or the men who might like sex care about is our fundamental right to abortion that this draft opinion overturns. And that's the story. Just to give you a sense of news judgment and what people care about, that's what they care about. Just I just had to say that. Well, I'm sorry. I, I, that was disgusting. That was sickening to watch, to tell us what the story is to tell the press what the story is, to tell us women who are at the focus of this story, our rights, what happens to us, our health care, our daughters, our sisters, our mothers. You're going to tell us what the story is. It's a leak in the Supreme Court. It's fascinating. It's unprecedented. And there is a fantastic trail to be followed there. And it should be because that shouldn't happen. Chief Justice John Roberts even said that. It's a story, but it's not the story, okay? Get it right for once in your life. And who